Hello everybody and welcome back to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. As you can see, I have a fire. Let's have a quick look. <laughs> well, I put. I was, I'll tell you what I was doing. I, I suppose I should chop as much of this down as I can because I haven't got my axe with me. Because at least I've got some wood. Oh, this is too slow. I'm just going to get my. I'm just going to get my axe. Ah, they're all burnt away. I'd basically been putting stuff in. I was just moving stuff around. And thinking, discovered this I discovered it I've got a little slight problem so I just thought I'd fix that so this is on camera I basically spent the winter here um, fishing because in the winter it's 14 minus so you get to very cold levels now it's not too bad because we're at um, have a look what's the temperature for it's only 7 minus and it makes a huge difference so this building is actually no use anyway, so I don't mind losing it. It's just in the way. <laughs> so I was spent all winter fishing away and I was basically breaking these blocks. Oh, wrong one. I need, I need the pickaxe on there. I was breaking the blocks like that and I was just standing here because I got the one heat block from there which caused that fire. And I was just standing here fishing, aiming at the top of the door, waiting for things to happen. And uh, I was just going to consolidate the stuff I've been fishing. I was trying on the tanks as well, like that. So I just right click, and it's gone. So I was basically consolidating the stuff that I've got in here, and I obviously I've got a fish in a book and ice. Is that everything? I actually got some water as well, that's right, yes. I'll use that in a minute. So, it's a quick sort and have a look. So we've got two fishing rods. Roasting, I have no idea what that does. I expect it brings out a a roasted fish or something like that and we've got a quite a decent book here enchanted enchanted sharpness three power three protection three and i reckon that that's not so useful for um tinker's construct but it might be quite good for the bow i'm still using my bow and the rest of the fish we've got 44 ice that's going to be useful and we've got how many did we get 10 raw jellyfish of course the raw jellyfish are very useful and the rest of the stuff is some of this is Minecraft stuff. I've got, got a saddle, that's useful too. And this is basically just fish, I think. Well, I'll see. We can take all of those and convert them to ordinary fish, dry, cook them and dry them out, and then we can have some leather. So, with this, I want to go and shove that. <laughs> oh well. Shove that in, the, in here. Just disappear out. It's working. Well, it's, I'm having a slight problem with these cables. Every once in a while, one of them just disappears. Well, it's not such a problem because you just take the copper coil here and just relink it again. But it's a bit of it. I can always tell because there's steam coming out of this thing. Anyway, so today's episode, let's do start with that one. This is also broken. I'm actually finding this a little bit frustrating the Aquamunda stuff. It, you can't get anything out of the tank. Once it's broken, you see it's got plenty in there. It's at least about three buckets full. Oh, I can. Well, that's weird. I wonder if it's supposed to get frozen or something. It doesn't seem to be quite right, but maybe it's okay this time. So I'll look up. Ah, oh, that's empty. Okay, maybe it is working now. <laughs> well, I can take that back. I do apologise. Let's take let's get these slime balls sorted out. I won't have enough, I don't think. But at least we can start doing something that's we're gonna need. Well, plenty of ice. Uh slime balls, we've got two more slime balls in here. Is there anything else I've got in here? That's ordinary ice, which we can actually use for a thermal generator. That's why I was fishing, basically, get these things up. So it's one of those surrounded by this stuff here, like this. Should give me. Oh, it gives me three. That's great. 15. Let's do um, R on that one again. Let's stick them all in. So that we need 24 for a set of armor. That'll do. We can make a set of armor then. Let's have a look at this stuff because I haven't actually looked at this. But summertime is coming up. Get the slime plate, let's do a helmet. I know you can stick all of this together in a smart way and I didn't do it. Leggings and of course boots. So what happens if we put this on? So if we take off all this stuff here, I will go down to six, won't I? Which is okay, we can survive six. If we put this one here. 
it's taking the armor down one so that basically gives us a cooling factor of four okay fantastic because it's late it should be early spring now i think yeah i know it's late winter so when it's getting warmer i'll remove this stuff put that away and put the slam balls away give that a quick sort and then we have some slam balls that's great actually i'll take this armor and put it away somewhere somewhere safe but not in there because that's full completely full and there's nothing i can do but i have got some stuff prepared here for today's episode let's tell you what let's, let's put it in here for the time being uh, and i will put this back on again and i know it's like just simply right I click it. it's wearing out actually i have to go and shear a few more sheep so today's episode i prepared some stuff already as you can see i think i want almost everything in here yes i need those and probably that's about i need the arrows i've got to find a way to get some more arrows i can take the wood out of here of course and the tree draw will sleeve in there like that because we can put the wood in there so windmill let's have a look at the recipe for that very easy it's just these windmill blades which is just like this oh oh it's snowing oh, that's okay it's not wet at the moment so that's treated wood planks and treated wood sticks we had, i got plenty last time so that so that's no big deal and it was just an ironing in the middle of this one live coils the recipe for that is basically copper wire which we did last time with a stick makes four of those live coils and then if you use if you look at the uses of that if we do that like this we get a copper block and then we can get insulated top fiber as well that's probably a good thing to do and the copper coil block if i'm not mistaken is used in a dynamo so look at the uses of that then we make a dynamo like this a thermo, so, oh that's a thermionic generator another page hold on and i've got a dynamo here that's a flashlight uh, here we go the kinetic dynamo so three iron and two redstone plus that gives us the kinetic dynamo which i've also made here so we've got that one made we made those last time an lv connector so let's have a good recipe for that i'll try again it's just two terracotta which is the recipe for that is straightforward clay cooked which i did i got some clay when i was doing in the mine and some use some soft stuff there better be good it's night time but to go to bed <laughs> didn't notice it was night time but with a bit of luck those we'll set up some to, um, lanterns today which will prevent mob spawning so let's get on and do that first I've already prepared a spot here so what we're going to do is we're going to put the one of these posts down aluminium posts and then it's high enough up and it'll also miss this chimney. So what we have to do is, oh, I need to get up here, don't I? Uh, five blocks of wood, is that enough? Maybe. Let's get rid of that. I don't need the snowballs anyway, do I? Let's put that down there and that on top of it. And let me be able to pillar up this one a bit. Yeah, fine. So then we can put on top of this the kinetic dynamo. That's the first thing that goes on here like this. Oop, oh, I knew I was doing something wrong. Excuse me. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be it wouldn't be normal if I didn't derp that one, would it? Right, okay. So we just put this down like this and it's facing the wrong way. You see the hole, go back a bit, is here. Uh, and so we need to write we take the hammer from immersive engineering like this right click it and it should turn it around now the question is i'm not sure which way around it's turning it's a look that's the right way around okay great so we can then take the windmill which is this one here come over here right click that onto that or shift right click onto that and that's in the right place now I'm probably in the way <laughs> no i'm not in the way so what we need to do now is put a connector onto here so that's actually generating power it says kinetic dynamo zero but it's probably not so let's dig our way down that out of here and maybe I can get the connective reach the connector from here I hope so so 
So then we can connect the cables to that. So we've got a wire, LV wire cable here. We'll just simply shift right click it onto that and it tells you it's linking from there. So we can go down, down here again. My vine ladders are cool. And then as you walk away, if you go too far away, it goes red like that, you see? Oh, actually, so that basically means which block is it looking at? This one. So that's too far away. So that's about range which is just about where this lantern is, which is cool. So we right click this like this and it links. And then this thing should be powered up. But we've got to watch out because this wire is actually live. So if we touch it, then we probably get take damage. Now, that's it's too high up for us to bother about. Now these powered lanterns also have a second effect other than giving light. It also prevents mob spawning. Do you know, I'm not exactly sure how far the mob spawn range is. Let me have a quick look and see. Right, it says it's 32 blocks, as far as I can see, I'm not in there. But you can actually can control whether or not it's enabled or not in the in the configuration file. I think that's magnetic graph manual. I need to change that one. I just think I should turn this here. So immersive engineering is this one, so look. I th would be hard to see it. It'd be nice if it could have an index on this thing, wouldn't it? Um, maybe powered lights of this one. Does it have a powered generation now? Breaking switch, lightning rod. That's all to do with power. From what I can see, tools. I don't know where they keep it. Heavy oil, oil processing it won't be that one simple machines maybe I doubt it doesn't look like a simple machine to me control panel industrial wires no oh well, that's nuisance I wonder if I missed something out there because <laughs> as I said there was <laughs> there was a, a butterfly like this got uh -oh, there's a spider over there what's he doing over there Anyway, it should prevent them spawning in the 32 block. We're going to have to trust, trust it and test it out, I think. Now, I should have some more copper cables somewhere about. Where has the copper cables gone to? Huh. Backpack, possibly. Let's get rid of this wood. Yes, got some in here, good. That was a sensible place to put it for a change. Didn't, not like me at all. Right, okay, so let's have a look over here. Where can we put the next one? Yes, I know you're there. I can hear you. Whether you're going to attack me or not, I don't know. Oh, it would probably be a good idea if I got my sword out, wouldn't it? <laughs> or even the bow out would not be a bad idea either. Where is that one? I might have to go and get you, Spider. Where is he now? Just there. Well, yes, I know I can hear you. Oh, there you are, look. I'm not sure whether he's aggressive or not. He doesn't look like aggressive, does he? Let's go. Oh, what armor have I got on? Just ordinary crap like that. Right, good. What did he drop? He dropped something interesting. Oh, I thought he dropped something interesting. I don't see any string here either. Okay, never mind, he didn't drop anything. I think I took a little bit of a hit from that. Anyway, so let's see if we can reach this one over here to put it somewhere else. Now, I would like to put it around the corner here, but you can't do it so easily. So let's have a look at this one. We need to make two more things. So while I'm here, let's get this up. Let's get this cherry out of the way and dig up this ice. And probably this as well, because they've got magnets on the on. It's an iron pickaxe. They've got magnet. It picks up the bits quite nicely. And it's always these three. These two haven't actually. Strangely enough, this is the one that freezes, and these two haven't frozen at all all winter. Now, good. Snow doesn't count as nearby blocks. I wasn't sure about that. I'm leaving these here. They help reduce the reduce, reduce the pollution a bit. Um, oh yes, we need to look at that one as well, don't we? So, right. 
what we can make next is um, a relay I haven't made don't need to make relay so it's, that's just two terracotta and two cotton will give a uh, copper will give us that so and terracotta I think is oh, I don't know where I put it actually might be in here no that looks like it's a bit too full with all sorts of stuff maybe it's I haven't got any on me have I now maybe it's in the in the boiler over here in the in the chest over here no I don't know what to do with it I've got some water I'll take that out while I'm thinking about it rather than waste time I'll make some more is that eight yes good and of course the easiest way to do it is to put it through this the only thing there is a problem here is I haven't got enough space so all we need to do is put it into this chest over here which we can reach from there that'll get taken out processed nicely through to here and it doesn't take very long as you can see and as you saw them go he saw it going across the little conveyor belt here and put it to the chest so we have those two now so we can make that up I would also like to make either a aluminium or a treated wood. I'm not sure it's called anchor. I think that's the right fellow. So we've got our relays. I think it's an anchor, but I'm not exactly sure. It looks like this. This one, wall mount. Okay. So can we do wall mounts? We could do a treated stick wall mount. That might be better. That'll be a steel one. I'm not sure what the difference between these are, to be honest with you. So we just need one treated wood stick and three planks. So we've got planks in here. Should have some sticks somewhere, but you know, can't find them. I'm not sure it'll work like this. It will do fantastic. Let's put the stick in here back in here. So what you can do, of course, is now, I hope I can reach, somewhere up here we can place this, so it can reach across here. I think I might be alright if I just place it here. I might have to place it on both sides, I'm not 100% sure, I might have to go across like that, but, ooh, I need to put a relay on top of that, don't I? Can we make some, no, I should make, I should make some ladders, shouldn't I? Let's get some wood out of here. Don't know how much we're going to need. Let's make some ladders. Normally they get converged, just okay, fine. Three pieces. So we need. I think that'll do. If we make 12 sticks. I'm oh, sorry, 24 sticks. That'll give us nine ladders. I'll just take six to start with. I think that'll be fine. Uh oh, it's dark again. Right, time for another sleep. So, what I basically want to do is to see if it goes around the side. In fact, my health's getting a bit better too. I would also like to make some juice. I wonder if I can make grape juice. I've got water. I've got I still have snow. I don't need the snow. Ah, oh, get rid of that one. Um, snowballs I've got that somewhere else and sugar I need some sugar where's my sugar gone to I know I've got sugar somewhere probably in the backpack actually oops try again with an empty hand did I pick it up yes I did try got some sugar so I'm just wondering if I can make some purified another fruit juice or if we can make cherry juice no, we can't make cherry juice. Uh, I can make beetroot juice. And there's beetroots in here. Let's get rid of these cherries and put the beetroot down there. And then we can do that again. But I should have got rid of that as well, shouldn't I? Oh, I want the bottle of water, which is here. 
can press W and push that into that and then take out the beetroot juice. I've done that a few times I reckon. The snowballs I think. Now I'll put them in here for the time being. I need to sort that out don't I? And these ones I probably need an axe to pick them up. Okay it's not got magnetic on the axe. So let's have a look now see so if we can go up the ladders and see if we can reach that that bit without falling down and breaking our neck so to speak. Can I reach? <laughs> I'm stuck on something aren't I? Yes now I can. So I press shift on here now I should be able to. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Really, I want to put really on top of it. Try that again. So you can press shift, but of course, which when you press something else, like a sp space, there's another, there's another one gone. I hope I can reach that from there. Otherwise, you'd have to put it on the corner, I guess. I mean, butterfly that was, by the way. So, can we get that to touch this? Oh, yes, we can. Good. So then we can put another lantern down over here. Let's do that. Let's get the up so we can see how far we can go with this one. So I'm just checking. Shift right click. Okay, that's good. So we can. Oh, it's not telling me. I can't. Oh, of course, I. I sort of messed that one up. Let's keep it most down out of the way a bit. Here would be a good space, wouldn't it? We're not 16 blocks away yet. Yeah. Okay, we'll put the we we'll put it down here. Of course, I've got to climb up to this thing now and get and get on it again. So maybe I have to take the ladders down. Make sure that we've got six ladders back again, which we have good. I don't think you can put ladders on this, which is a shame. I could put a ladder on a tree, of course. Maybe I can reach it. I can't. Oh, I don't need to be able to, actually, to be honest with you. Oh, yes, I do. Tell you what, that's what I'm going to do. I'll do it the other way. Three blocks, is that enough? Actually three blocks is enough, isn't it? Let's do it from here. Ah, the street's in the way. Brilliant. Okay, now I can reach it, I think. Well, that's hard work sometimes. So now I should be able to right click this one onto that. And it lights up as, it's, as you saw it works. That's fantastic. So I'm going to do some more of those around the base here, just to just to keep the mobs at bay, to, at least to some stage. And I can get rid of the torches, which is going to be great because that's going to stop the pollution. Because wind power is obviously pollution free. Even if butterflies are going to get killed all the time. <laughs> that's quite good, doesn't it? Quite impressed with that. So. I have got enough stuff now. It's probably a bit early. I'll, I'd like to go to the nether again. I'll tell you what I also would like to do. Let me pick up this. I would also like to go and find a horse. Train and train a horse because that's another good thing to do. Juice I've got ready. How many have I got health wise? Three and three bits. That's plenty. So let's just get rid of some of this stuff I've got on me that I don't need. I'm probably not going to need the fishing rod and the connectors. I, maybe I need the campfires, it's hard to say. Put the bottle of water away. Actually, we'll keep the bottle of water. Because we can always get quench our thirst that way. We don't need that. Maybe we need... I'll leave the ladders up there, did I? Okay. And spade will keep. Arrows will keep. Bow will keep. We don't need that. And the hammer we don't need either. And I think the rest of it's fine. I did use the hammer for make and the and the wire cutters. 
I did use the hammer for making the, the rest of those. But that was a, probably a good. I think that was a good thing to do. Don't see it better when you sort it out, can you? I would also like to take you and have a look at. Oh, actually, it might be worth worth doing that. I said I'm talking rubbish, aren't I? Where's it gone to? Have I got the? This is distilled. This is fresh water. And I should have my where's it called? Oh, canteens. Or what I was looking for. I now I've put it away somewhere in a sensible place or well, not in a sensible place um, because I can't remember where it is because my image we've got so full I couldn't figure it out that's what it might be there I'll take that with me maybe it's on the other side because I've got another <laughs> I've got another bag here ah oh, yes this stuff we want to deal with this today as well don't we I got some more slime balls in there, some more paper, and that's actually quite good. Where's the canteen gone to though? Oh, that's a bit of a nuisance. Didn't put it in here, did I? No. Nope. Well, that's it. I don't know what I've done with the canteen unless I put it in here. Must be about my last chest. No, nope. I've got it somewhere. Anyway, never mind. I tell you what I'm going to do now. I'm going to trundle off, and that'll be full, won't it? <laughs> it's got the um, blocks coming through the snow, and you can't see the middle bucket. So we've got two more blocks, and that's filled up. That I need to go and find some sheep. Got the reason they not sheep. I need to go and find some um, chickens. Because without chickens, I'm a bit stuck. Uh oh, there's a mob behind me. Let's get out of his way a bit, and he can die. Yep. So maybe I need to bring that cable over this side as well. They do spawn over here. I'm not quite sure why. Anyway. I'm going to go and trundle off now and find some chickens and I'll be back in a short while. Well, I've got my chicken. I'm in the boat and he's in the back of the boat. You can hear him. So, <laughs> why all this matters, you might be thinking. Why am I going to go and get a chicken? Because we want to go back to the nether. And in order to go to the, into the nether, we need to get blazes. And of course, I think hand-to-hand -hand combat with blazes is probably a bad idea. But a decent bow is not such a bad idea. And we are now getting a bit tight. We can actually get as far as base, hopefully, without too much ice in the way. Ice makes it a bit more difficult. <laughs> this, is two <laughs> this is the two cows stuck in the thingy. So we have got a chicken. Now, getting it out. Let's get out of here. What's my temperature? Oh, fine. As you can see, one chicken in a boat. <laughs> we need to get the chicken out of here. Let's just break up some of this ice. And he gave me an egg on the route too. Let's see if we can get in there a bit nearer. Break up this one. Yeah, we can. Good. So now we're going to get the chicken out of here. Fortunately, I have got a some yeah. And he's very hungry. This, this chicken's very hungry break the boat and he'll come out just come on oh, I've got no space have I oh tell you what let's just put my down a rucksack can't shift right click because I've got no empty hand <laughs> ah, I'm not doing very well hold on I'm also stunning in the water which isn't a good thing to do and what happened there the boat Pick, picked up the boat right, one of these fighty things aren't I let's get up here a bit let's get rid of those And um, let's put down the rucksack so we've got, the, we've got some space in here anyway, so that's good. I shall keep this fresh water, I'll get rid of the okra. I picked up some bits and pieces on the way. I didn't find any horses, but I wasn't really looking for horses. That'll probably do, I think. Yeah. So we can now pick up this, and we can pick up the ice, and we can get that chicken to follow us. Let's shift click this one away. Where is it? There, break ups. 
So we're not very far from base, so we should be able to walk up here. Oh, I said that. <laughs> we're up to quite a high bit here. Let's go around the side here. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Good. You'll follow me. through these trees. Ah, there's a walnut tree. Never mind. Oh, now I'm stuck. I want to be over that side really. Let's go go over, get over that side. And of course we can't. So I'm going to have to put the boat down. I don't know whether it'll follow me or not. So we'll put the boat down, but it's not easiest place. Ah, <clears throat> okay. Let's put the boat down in here. Where are you? Actually, where's the chicken gone to? Oh, they are good. So all I need to do is put the boat down anywhere, actually, we will do fine. That'll do there. So I should be able to get the chicken into that now. Should be able to. Just push it like that. There we go. And we get, and then we can go against the current. Hopefully not drown at this process. So we've actually made that bit. <laughs> now we have to do that little course up here. I think I made a little bay up here, I did, yes. Parking bay, so to speak. Oh, if we can get up there. And it should be just there. Straight ahead of us. Oh, it's got a block of ice in there. This is the parking bay, so I should be able to break this ice while I'm going forward. And we should be able to get out of this now without the boat disappearing, which is great. So now we need the chicken to come out of here. Let's just do it with the wheel. Go on, you. So we have one chicken at base, or in the in the area, which is great. All right, you can have the seat, you can have that now. So with a bit of luck, I'm going to get some fences, fence him in a bit. Now, of course, I was going to say, we need arrows, basically, is what this is all about. Chickens lay feathers and feathers and eggs, and we can make lots of chickens. So that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been interesting. I got killed by a creeper, which wasn't so fun. That was my own stupid fault, though. I saw him. attacked him with a bow and arrow, didn't finish him off. And then I attacked a zombie, and he blew me up in the meantime. Anyway... Until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now. Oh, this time it worked. Okay, different armour.